How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video right here, we're going to be testing the same tape once again, but this is a completely different test. We're going to see if the same tape will actually stretch or if it will not stretch. This might be problematic whenever you're working with a pattern carpet and you've got a 30 foot room, something pretty big and the same tape don't stretch like the rest of the carpet. It might cause a bow in your pattern. So we're going to see if that theory is true or not. So how I'm going to test this, I'm going to, tie, I'm going to put a seam all the way down the center of this room right here. This is about a 14 foot room and after I seam it, I'll tie it off. I'll stretch the whole room across ways, trim it, tuck it, and then I'll pull it off and see if there is a, a slight bow in the carpet as it has been trimmed right where the tape is. I'll do that by laying a dry line on it and see if there's a bow in it where the tape was. That's how we're going to test that theory. Alrighty, I got it all seamed up right down through the middle here. You might be able to see my horrible seam there. I wasn't technically trying to make a good seam. I just cut it and put it together simply for the test. But I want to show you, uh, want to show you the seam right there. That way you'll know that it is all the way across the room, and we're not pulling any fast ones on you. Alrighty, we're ready to roll. I'm just going to stretch this like I traditionally would in a regular house if I was doing an actual install. Uh, just try to keep it as fair as possible. So I'm going to start stretching and uh, see what happens. Like I said, when we get done stretching, I'm going to pull this apart, pull it up, or trim it and tuck it. And see if there's any kind of bow in it. the tape and to be honest with you I didn't feel any difference at all right there when I stretched it didn't feel any stiffer at all so we'll see we will see in just a 15 foot room like this <clears throat> it's going to be very very minimum what will make a difference in a huge room if I was working with a pattern So it would only have to be just a little bow in it to be amplified if I was in a big room with a pattern because this is 15 foot. So if you multiply that times, if you double that or even two and a half times that, whatever it is, if it's an eighth of an inch, it's going to be a quarter inch up there. Depending on the pattern, that could show up. So we'll trim it, tuck it, and see what happens. Okay, so now I've got a nice accurate trim right here and uh, I can usually get myself pretty, pretty accurate, a pretty consistently straight cut using a carpet trimmer because of my years of experience. So that's why I decided I would go ahead and stretch it all up and trim it with the trimmer and that gives us a nice even line to go by as far as on the wall. Now if we pull it up and it shrinks back to where it would, there's going to be a slight bow in it if it didn't stretch as much where the seam was as it did everywhere else where there is no seam tape. So we're going to fold it back and put a dry line on it and see if there's a little bow on it, okay? So 
So you can see what I did there. I drove a nail here right at the edge of the carpet. Same thing down on that end. I'm going to pull a string now and see if there's a little bow right there. I can actually see a little bit of something, I believe, just with my own eye. So we'll see in just a second. So if you can see what I'm doing, just simply wrapping my chalk line around it and pull a string. That way it's going to be right on the edge. Pull it a little bit snug and wrap it around. Okay, so that is a nice and tight pulled string, and uh, we can get a little bit of a look here and take a look at it, and you can see exactly uh, where it did bow in just a little bit. It ain't, it's like I said, it's very minimal. Um, it started about right here, and it jumped back about right here right back to normal it touched again here because it was a uh, this is right at the edge of the seam so it probably just didn't get pushed down and in, in there just the same but it actually runs right beside it from this point to this point it's got just a ever so slightly bow maybe uh maybe three sixteenths of an inch okay is what we got between our string and the backing of the carpet and everywhere else down through there, you can see that it's right at the edge, except from here down there. So, uh, that does let me know that it does affect it. It's not much in this small of a room, but again, if you take that and amplify it by two or three times in a pattern uh, carpet in a room that's bigger, that is going to cause problems. So... There is a, a rule that they say you're supposed to stretch your carpet first and then seam it. I've never done that in my life, but if it ever come down to a big pattern job, that might be a good suggestion. You might want to do that. You might want to see, uh, stretch your carpet, seam it up, and then finish stretching it. So, I don't know. I've always wondered about that, so that's why I wanted to do this test. This is completely new to me. I've never done this. I've never tested it in any way. So you got it here from Floors by Southern Boys just the same time I did. Thank you guys for tuning in to the channel. Until next time, FBSB's out.